This is CBS News Colorado at noon. Governor Polis signed four gun safety laws this morning, and the Rocky Mountain Gun Owners Association has already filed lawsuits against two of them. I'm Michelle Griego. Legislators have made gun control a hot topic at the state capitol with several marathon sessions going into the night. Our Kennedy Cook joins us from the state capitol, and Kennedy, both sides turned out for this bill signing. Good afternoon, Michelle. Now, gun safety bills has been at the forefront of discussion here at the Capitol for a while now. And today, Governor Jared Polis signed four of those bills into law that he says will make Colorado one of the safest states in the country. Now, the four bills are one that would create a three day waiting period for guns described as a way to prevent rising suicides and youth violence in states. Another would vic will give victims that is more rights to sue gun manufacturers. A third would increase the minimum age to purchase a firearm from 18 to 21. And the fourth deals with the red flag law, which allows a judge to temporarily remove someone's gun if the person possesses a risk to themselves or others. Now this morning, and families of victims, of gun survivors, and students all spoke to the significance of having these bills signed into law. Meanwhile, pro-gun organizers say some of these bills signed into law today are unconstitutional and that they plan to take action immediately. As soon as the pen hit the paper, I don't even think the ink was dry, uh, we filed our lawsuits uh, against uh, House Bill 1219 and Senate Bill 169. These things matter. They matter to people like those people up there and other people around the world. Now, the Democrats did kill one bill that would have banned new semi-automatic gun sales. Live at the Capitol, I'm Kennedy Cook covering Colorado First. Kennedy, thank you. A